Okay, we're looking good. We're all set up. We are gonna go ahead and continue. Welcome back to Crystal Kaizo, everybody. So last time, we finally managed to beat Lance, and we're gonna be going to Kanto now. Isn't that gonna be fun? Everybody is past the max level. There's no reason, uh, no reason to even get experience anymore. Oh, I just coughed before I, like, recorded, so I'm already flubbing words. We're departing soon, please get on board. How bad could they make the ship? I'm sure it'll be fun. It'll be a fun time. Okay, here's the old man. Whoa, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter's missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Now, there's normally quite a handful of trainers here, isn't there? I think first I need to go below the deck and talk to the sailor to make him... So I have to find the buddy. Hey, kid, can I get you to look for my buddy? He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I want to go find him, but I'm on duty. Maybe you could just let the guest actually, like, go through? How about that? Okay, you're right off the bat here. Hey, kid, want to battle with me? I suppose we got no choice. They're probably going to put him somewhere that requires me to beat every trainer. Pokefan Colin. Oh. 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 Well then. I hope I can one-shot you with this. I missed. Here comes Safeguard. Oh boy. Only one Pokemon and it's Wobbuffet. Just when you think you get a little bit of a luck here, huh? Anyways, I hope you're all doing good. I'm starting quite a bit late today. I was actually, like, feeling very sick last night, and I just, like, absolutely just slept in quite late. Come on. Come on. That's good. At least they're not past level 100 yet. You know they will be. You're strong. You're giving good money. Well then, if I don't have to fight you, I'm not gonna fight you, because I literally don't get experience anymore. Isn't he in, like, one of the top cabins? I can never remember. Thanks for the sub friend. I mean, they could also put him somewhere else, so it doesn't hurt to check everywhere. You think I got heat stroke? No, I don't think that was it. Here's your cabin. If your Pokemon are hurt, take a nap in the bed. That'll heal them. That's good. They put him there to mark that. Ah. Are you alone? Then let's battle. That might be our guy right there, so I gotta beat him. I still get money, yeah. I don't really need to worry about money, though. Okay, pile of swine. We can go for submission, and that'll be fine. Let's do that. I still have leftover Hyper Potions, Max Potions, and all that from the Elite Four. The only time I'm really gonna need those again is when I go to, uh, like, Red or something. Because it's not like I have to fight a Gauntlet of Trainers anymore to beat the game. Well, I guess I do have to go through, um, like, Cerulean Cape in order to unlock Misty, but... I can go back to the Pokémon Center. Right? Hit them with Submission. But anyways, I hope you're all doing good. It's kind of unfortunate, because, like, I took Monday and Friday off this week, and both of those days, I felt really sick. It's also been, like, disgustingly humid out, so I haven't been able to go, like, exercising. Excellent. It just keeps being, like, either really humid, or we just get, like, a small downpour for a bit. Don't even feel well enough to enjoy the cozy weather at home. Yeah, I'm a sailor. I wasn't goofing off. This cabin was vacant, so I took a quick nap. Oh, forget it. Let's battle. Not so vacant anymore, huh? Let's go. I gotta get myself some more, like, exercise in for sure. Okay. It, it can feel a bit difficult to get into that when you work from home, for sure. Um, if he goes for a fighting move, he'll probably go for, like, Surf or something, honestly, because it's Dana. But... Hmm... Could always just use Fly with Moominite. Let's do that. Kanto can normally feel like a victory lap in the... Oh, of course you're doing that. Well then, no problem. Let's just spam Fly until we wake up. What's he got? He has Ice Beam. Probably specifically to counter Dragonite, isn't it? Okay, no big deal. I don't want to give him the switch in. 
Because he's just probably going to kiss me again. Let's do that. This is nothing after learning how to play Pokemon Stadium 2. How does Polyrath kiss? I'm pretty sure there was like an event, like Poly Whirl or something, that had Lovely Kiss, and that's why the Kaizo games give it to him, because it's technically a legal one. I guess now we'll go Thunder Punch. I should have just submissioned it or something. Oh well. For a split second, my brain was like, is he immune to electric moves? And then I remembered, no, that's the Fool's Gold one, where it's like made out of mud and it's a ground type. That one was cool, but its stats were pretty underwhelming towards the end. Well, it's got Earthquake. Come on, you don't get Stab, but my HP is pitiful. Wait a second. Why didn't I use Psychic? He's part fighting. My, my brain is not remembering things. My brain was thinking about the water type part of it. Even though I just said he was fighting type when I hit fly. See, I'm still kind of sick. I need to wake up a little more. I'm not sure if either of them would have been a one-shot anyway, so it, it doesn't really make a difference. Or will it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, okay, I was just delaying it then. No big deal. It's just the sailor. He's got a couple left now. Grand Bully. We'll go ahead and fight that. Yes, we will. Kanto normally does have, like, a crap ton of trainers, so I'm just really worried that the, the map layouts are going to be arranged and force me to have to fight all of them to get to everybody. Probably. I don't think Kanto has as many map edits as Johto, though. Come on. Come on. There you go. Critical hit. Dana wins. You're broken. And because everyone is level 100, that means we have no choice but to just, uh... Watch the HP bar just go down forever, huh? Luckily, I pretty much have a counter for everything now. The odd Scizor and Fortress will just go completely down to Alucard. Oh, holy, holy moly, hold back my the cough there. I'm good. It's super effective. I certainly hope the maps don't look anything like the Blue Kaizo version, because that would suck. That would really suck. Being a sailor, I have to do physical labor. It's exhausting. Oh, boo-hoo. Don't be a sailor, then. Oh, no. I'm going to Kano to put on fire-breathing shows. Well, I honestly should have seen this coming. There's just a guy in my room. <laughs> ready to taunt me here. Here comes Weezing. Unfortunately for you, no abilities. That means you die to Earthquake. Excellent. Wonderful. Fantastic, even. Go down, go down. He's just gonna chill in my room. There's nothing weird about that. He's just here to set things on fire. The wheezing, which will explode. It's basically a bomb. We got artillery. Okay, now, now I can use Thunder Punch. We either have the ice item or the electric item on Alakazam. Really doesn't matter which one. It only really matters in the important battles, too. Kind of surprised everyone's not at least, like, level 110, just to, like, really make it annoying. Ah, oh, darn it. Return! Return! How's your attack again? I can't remember. Okay. Alakazam can at least take a hit from most things, yeah. Super effective, you're dead. Now what? Houndoom. Well, Sonic can just use Surf on this thing. I'll probably just use a quick flamethrower on Dana or something, so it's no big deal. Go down to this. Yeah, you're fast, but that's no big deal. Everybody just seems to have a random return on them or something. Just to make sure that they can do physical damage if they're, if they're special walled. 
I got coverage for everything. Remember that, like, even Ampharos gets Iron Tail. Like, all of them just have that in case you try to send out, like, a Golem or something. Even Dodrio gets, like, Steel Wing for coverage. It, they don't do very much, but they have them. Fizzle. The flame's tiny. Yeah, it is. It is. No, it's heal. I have no idea how long Kanto could take, but I think it's a safe bet to say that it's not getting done today. Let's be real. Right, I beat you. I'm done with all this so I can go down to the underground. But anyways, chat, all things considered, I think I'm doing well today. Of course, I had a very late start to getting uh, my, through my day. Yeah, I th saw that coming, but I needed to check. Earth, I'm seasick. There was no way they were gonna let me walk past these rooms like normal. Juggler Fritz would like to battle. He's got a Mr. Mime. This is where we hit him with the horn and watch him cry. I managed before I started streaming uh, to get the final episode of Pikmin 2 uploaded. That was like a six hour VOD. Even though I, was, I felt like crap yesterday, I set that to upload while I slept because it's such a giant thing, it takes forever to upload and process. Okay, Magmar. Let Sonic do it. Doesn't really matter. Actually, Magmar gets Thunder Punch, so probably better to let Golem wall it. And I did get the Sandman stream all edited. When I can, that'll be a four-hour VOD that'll be uploaded soon. We're actually getting the spooky games out again, like I promised. I even got the Silent Hill playthrough uploaded. I'm proud of myself for that. Ah, oh, come on. I was actually listening to some of the music from that game, like Shattered Memories on the Wii. It was like Akira Yamaoka's last Silent Hill game before um, he came back to work on the remake for two. And it's really good music. Hang on. Just here. Ah, oh, come on. Very, very different game from the rest of the series. Well, this is unfortunate. Remember when I was playing Stadium 2 and I got like, what was it, four or five confusions in a row? And I just like nearly lost the battle because of that. A sure battle and I just lost, I nearly lost it. Okay, let's go down. It's super effective. Yeah, on, speaking of which, the Stadium uploads are doing stupid well, I've noticed. I can play whatever spooky game I want, and it can perform like crap. The stadium... The stadium uploads are just doing, like, way too good. That's enough. Come back. Excellent. It's got me thinking of maybe I should try some more competitive Pokemon-type things in the future. There's always Emerald Rogue to go back to. I keep putting off making time for that. I had the idea of, like, what if I did, like, viewer-submitted Pokémon for the Battle Frontier in Emerald? It'd be easy for people to make a mon, and, like, the mods or could just, like, uh, PK hex them into the game, and then I'll select them at random. That could be very chaotic. Has, has anyone done that before? Well, now that I've said it out loud, maybe half of YouTube's gonna steal the idea. Nothing beats a battle when I'm on my break. Battle Frontier is fun. I've never beaten the Battle Frontier. I didn't know how to properly raise Pokemon back then. I just kind of, like, made, like, whatever was strong and just tried to brute force it. Well, looks like I got the right lead. Probably should run back and heal. I don't think it's necessary yet. But we'll see. I think there's only a handful more trainers up ahead after this. The Battle Palace is annoying because that one is your Pokemon pick their moves on their own, and it's based on, like, their nature and IVs. It's really awkward. That's why it's one of the facilities that doesn't come back. Um... I guess Sakura can just punch it. Don't know this thing's special defense or defense. I never care to learn. It's got that froggy face. Now punch it. Hey. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about that. We'll get to it when we get to it. 
could honestly be a one-off stream idea for, like, anything with, like, a battle tower. Just take in viewer-submitted Pokemon, PK hex them in, and then just completely choose them at random and see how far I can get. Because why not? It does take so long for the HP bar to go down, yeah. This toad is also kissing me. The nerve of that thing. Punch, punch, punch! Any day now, Sakura. Come on. Wake up. I'm gonna get a drink while I sit here and get, like, blasted. The HP bar takes forever to go down and go up. There you go, Sakura. You woke up. The hyper potions in my pocket can save me from making unnecessary trips to heal if only one person is, like, nearly dead. Oh, come on, dude. Could do it with the battle subway, yeah. That's also an idea. Excellent. Honestly, any wacky one-off Pokemon stream is uh, a fun idea. I could give it a wacky clickbait title as well. Hey! Sailor Jeff was defeated. Win or lose, my break's over. What's the team looking like now? Yeah, soccer has fainted, so I'm just gonna go heal. Let's do that. I like how there's just a bunch of row of beds there. What kind of cruise ship would do that? Like, everyone's gonna want to be near each other. Excellent. Does the battle subway have triple battles? Because that would be another way to make that unique. Ah, refreshed and restored. Maybe it's the cruise quarters. I guess, but you have to go through that area, right? Or wait, no, technically you don't. There's just stuff blocking the top. Because it's a Kaizo map. Probably gonna have to beat you, yep. I'm so bored, wanna battle? Let's take her out. Come on and get her. Debra. It's a pluck. It's probably gonna use like a sleep powder or something. Great. No double edge, okay. Okay, no problem. I hit it with rock slide. I'm not sure if this will kill. Let's find out. Oof. Come back heck up there. Anything? That's what I thought. Critical hit. Battle Subway doesn't have triple battles, no. Okay. I wonder if someone added a mod to that or something. That could be cool. Excellent now. Pokemon is fun and relaxing. It's wholesome. You can just sit around, push the A button, and everything is nice. Let's just play in Stadium 2. What? You think I'm a baby? Baby, that's not fair. It's just the twins, but they're separated in a way where you have to walk into one of them to activate the battle. <laughs> Meg and Peg, okay. Those are names, alright. This thing is wiggling, and we're going to break it. Grab it. Grab it. Break the tough. Look at that blank stare it has on its face. It can't be- it, 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 there's no life in those eyes. Come on. Super effective. Azumarill. Should be fine to thunder punch that. Well, the twins activate the same battle, so if you just separate them on the same map like that, technically, they're both, uh, they're programmed weirdly. This was also before double battles, too. I'm pretty sure Heart Gold Soul Silver makes all the twins double battles, right? Come on. It's only double edge and huge power doesn't exist. See? Can't even do damage. 
kind of surprised that Kaizo doesn't just double Azumarill's attack or something to make up for huge power. Azumarill is still just such a nothing whatever Pokemon here. Oh, he lost. Yeah, he did. Here's the real little girl. Cat, and play with me. I'm bored. I want to play more. Hi, will you play with me? Oh? Grandpa's worried? I have to go. I have to go find Grandpa. Here I am. I was playing with the captain and this guy. Asprey, was it? I heard you entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. I know I'd like to have this. I don't have any steel moves, so this doesn't really matter. I suppose you can use it for evolution, though, right? Like, how do Pokemon, like, Scyther evolve in Kaizo? Because obviously trading's not in the game. I assume you just make them hold it and they level up with it? I don't know. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion. Welcome to Kanto, everybody. Enjoy your stay. Okay, looks normal so far. Are you a trainer? Okay, good. There are eight gyms in Kanto. That big building is Vermilion's gym. That's not a Snorlax. Well, that it is now, but that's a ledge. So we can't go that way. That house is blocked off. Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. In the vanilla game, that statement's not true. But now... Hang on. Oh, this is the... This is the Blue Kaizo layout for Vermilion City, isn't it? Well, we better use the Pokemon Center. We may as well go right to Surge. Now... Normally, everyone just fights Surge right away, but I learned, like, not too long ago, apparently if you fix the power plant issue, Surge actually has his gym puzzle from, the, like, the, the first game, right? But no one ever does that, so no one really knows about it. Oh, good, I need Cut to get in. Fantastic. Hmm. I could probably just leave Vaporeon behind. Because I don't want to put Cut on anybody. I'm too stingy for that. Pause it. Yeah, there you go. Withdrawal. Where's cut? I'll have to put flash on somebody to get through Mount Silver. I get the feeling that's gonna be annoying. Goody. That moment when I realized Vaporeon was the one that used Surf. Oops. Ugh. You know what? Fine. Fine, game. Have it your way. Have it your way. Let's just go down. Fine. We'll teach someone cut. I don't even use Slash anyway. Happy? You happy now? Bet you are. Now the Shrew can rest forever, because I need to bring all my level 100 in there, in, uh, level 100 mons in there. Goodbye, baby Shrew. This game is never happy. Hold up, was that the top? No. That's Gen 1 that does that, I think. There's Sonic. HMs are annoying as heck in the old games. Yes, they are. Now, all the water HMs are on Vaporeon. Got cut and fly. If I need to, I might have to put Flash on Alakazam again towards the end of the game. Let's go fight Surge already. Can you even get Mew in this game? It can learn everything, so it would be a good HM user. <laughs> uh, 
I assume you have to be able to find it in Celebi for the Pokedex. You're here to beat Surge? Not if I can help it. See about that, buddy. You're ready to ambush me. This is unfair. Okay, so do gym trainers have higher levels? That's not an electric type. One oh two. Well then. Let's hope for the flinch. Come on, please. Oh, I got the flinch. Now I gotta hit again. Hang on. If this one has no flying moves, good. Experience doesn't matter. I wish it would just stop with the notification there, too. Lantern, I can just hit with this. Oh, 112. Quite a stark difference there, huh? Let's go. I wonder if uh, Surge is going to have, like, Lance numbers, then... Oh, that's not enough. Ooh, nice, you missed. Okay. Yeah, I thought you were gonna full restore. So I'll go for a submission and then earthquake here. Come on. Any day now. Lantern has a crap ton of HP. Isn't that comfy? We can all just, like, set up a little campfire, get roast some marshmallows, Hug our plushies, and then when we wake up tomorrow, Lantern will be half dead. Because the HP bar will finally be there. Take him out. Fix my thing here. It's super effective. Gentleman Gregory was defeated. Sorry I failed you, Lieutenant Surge, sir. Excellent. I'm going to take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Well, I don't plan on catching any new Pokemon. The six I have are pretty strong, so I'm good. Okay. This is where we send in Rockman. Let's go this. Need to adjust the slider on my headphones. Nice. Yeah, go ahead. He realized he has nothing left he can do, so he just eats out of there. I love using Golem to just completely block Electrode. It feels so satisfying. Mr. Mime. Just like how I can kill Wobbuffet with Megahorn. Pokemon Stadium has prepared me for more AI bullcrap than anything else. Go. Perfect, perfect. I'm looking forward to getting that next stadium stream uploaded. Uh, the one I did before that, unfortunately, like, I, um, I ended up, like, losing at a very important moment, and it felt bad. Yeah, I can ice punch you. But last time, we absolutely slaughtered, and it felt good. I might actually make it to round two with the rentals in that game. Now we're gonna Ice Punch. Explosion strats are so silly in Gen 2. I can't believe some of the optimal strategies with the rentals is literally just to pick Pineco because it has Explosion and Fortress doesn't. And to just go boom and delete the, the AI's first Pokemon. It's so silly. Clefable. Okay. They're not sticking to the team rules of uh, Monotype. Surge is probably going to have, like, whatever variety of Pokemon the Stadium games give him. So he's probably going to have, like, Porygon, too. Stadium 1 like like to give him Porygon for some reason, and so I imagine Stadium 2 gave him Porygon, too. Because why wouldn't they? Almost. Almost. Excellent. 2902. Horton was defeated. Wah! I was overpowered.
Last guy. Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Maybe. Maybe. Here comes the rocker guy. Guitarist Vincent. He's Vincent? He's a guitarist? Amazing. I love how the stadium sprite for the guitarist um, trainer class looks like a bootleg silver, because he has, like, the red hair. Hang on. Um... I'll just go for a Mega Horn on you. Why not? Blastoise is annoying and bulky. I feel like Stadium 2 did influence some of the, the trainers in this game. Remember Bruno had a Blastoise? That, he had one in Stadium 2, so I think that's where they got it from. Okay, no problem. Submission should kill now. Blastoise is bulky, but he doesn't have the best bulk in the world. I don't even really think of him when I think about bulky water types, to be honest. Excellent. Yo, yo, your sub badge disappeared. What happened? What happened? Do you hate me now? Is that it? What did I do? Excellent. Or is Twitch just bugging out? I'm joking. I know that. Hit him with Earthquake. Yep, there's the Iron Tail. They all have that. Twitch is bugging out. Seems like everything is bugging out lately. Oh, my defense fell, huh? And it's back. There it is. Look at that. Keep going. I haven't actually seen anybody in this game run Hidden Power. I wonder... Oh, God, that didn't kill. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to swap out now. I can't believe that didn't kill. Oh, you went Max Potion. I should have just went for that. I thought you, you already used one. Oh, well. We'll just go Earthquake on Dana. And then we'll just Potion Heal right quick. The only thing to spend my money on is just potion refills. That's all you really need money for in Gen 2. Let's go. The HP bar is going down and down and down. Not quite enough. That's unfortunate. Oh, cool. He's Vincent. He has a max potion. Amazing. Here he goes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go right. Surge is going to have a stacked team, so let's get ready to have a good lead on it. And hit it with Earthquake. And oh, yeah, Fire Punch. That's cool. Live. Live. Thank goodness. This Ampharos is freaking cooking. Let me guess, his Raichu has Surf, because he also has that in um, all the stadium games. I mean, that's been in Kaizo the whole time, too, so I shouldn't be surprised. Jinx? Well, you would have been good for that, but now you are not. So I guess we'll just let Alucard do this. Using Golem against this Raichu is not a good idea. It never is. Probably just best to send in Dana and use Earthquake. But he's probably gonna Thunder Wave me, which is annoying. It might take a little bit, but we can get it. We can get it done. Blossom, send it out. Set that little baby on fire. We don't need it around here. This game's sprite makes Blossom look like it might actually be, like, sizable. But, like, if you ever see, like, Vileplume and Blossom next to each other, like, Blossom is so tiny. It's... Like, is it... Isn't it, like, smaller than Oddish? Excellent. Oh, how shocking. Well, that takes care of that dude. Now I gotta heal up. 
Paralyzed heals. That's why we keep these around, because we can't buy full heals. Max potion for you. Hyper potion for the other one. Potion. Heal up the rock man. We can't go ahead and send in rock man up front because of the surf and Raichu. Keep it on backup for when Electrode comes out. I mean, I don't want Dana to get paralyzed, but odds are a lot of them are going to be packing Thunder Wave anyway. What about Moominite? I could just go in with Moominite and spam Outrage. And maybe get the extreme speed to finish it. Because Moominite can't do a whole lot else in this fight. Except resist water and electric. I did just put it up front, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hey, you! I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Oh boy! What's he got now? Load of six Pokemon, probably all 120. Oh yeah, I forgot. They always get, like, shinies. Yep, 120. Get him. Okay, he's going for Seismic Toss. I don't think he actually has Thunder Wave then. Hmm. It's not too bad. And I two-shot him with this, at least. Okay, definitely. We got him. No, he's going for Thunderbolt now. He's He doesn't know what's going to do more damage. Two, two. Okay, Thunderbolt definitely did more. Oh, that's bad. He does have Thunder Wave, he just didn't use it. Okay. Well, Moominite served their purpose. Pick him out. Break him down. Big Pikachu is down. We got Electabuzz. We know that thing gets Ice Punch and Psychic. They don't... I can resist them, though, honestly. Without Stab, those moves do not do not do very much. So I should be safe to just hit him with Earthquake twice and air, with Heracross. Oh, no, Fire Punch. That's even better, unless he burns me. Excellent, because Dana has really good special defense for some reason. Oh, that did a bit more than I thought. Okay, he's going to kill me one more hit. I mean, yeah, as it turns out, being, 20 le being level 120 makes quite a difference. Unless I crit. Unless I crit. Unless I crit. Ah ha ha, I didn't even need to crit. Goodbye. What's left? Zapdos. Alrighty then. Hmm. I don't think Zapdos has anything it can do to Rockman. Like, it's Zapdos. What can it do to a Golem? Steel Wing, I guess, but Zapdos' attack is disgusting. What if it actually has hidden power? I mean, we can make that argument for literally every Pokemon, right? I'm gonna say Steel Wing. It might be best to just explode on him. You go for it. Oh no, it got hidden power. Is it grass? It's, it's, it's grass or water hidden power, man. It's gotta be. Oh! So now we're breaking out the hidden power game, huh? Okay, buddy. Womanite's paralyzed. Fantastic. I assume it's probably water or grass, yeah. You two are weak to electric. Oh, but Sakura's probably gonna die to Drill Pack, which it no doubt has. Unless I get the freeze with Ice Punch. Let's go for it. Come on. He probably has that hidden power to cover specifically for, like, Golem or Rhydon. He went T-Wave. It might give me an extra attack now. What? Bro, those leftovers freaking gave him like a freaking chunk of HP. 
Wait, hidden power again? What? Huh? He must not ha Does he not have uh, any flying moves? Wait, what? I'm really confused. Because he if he's only running special, then he'd use an electric move. That'd do more than hidden power. Did he just throw? That was weird. Jolteon. Well, I should have saved Rockman for that one, huh? It's Jolteon. We'll just have to go for it. Hmm. Okay. Throw to Psychic, and why don't we do this? Hit him with that. Can I live? No, I cannot live. It's Jolteon. Well, we probably have lost at this point, haven't we? The earthquake. Thought it'd be easy. Just spent the mi minor amount of money I had. Oh well. Dana fainted. Yeah, we're getting swept by Jolteon now. This is great. <laughs> Jolteon also has hidden power. Yeah, he's not screwing around then, clearly. Well, I lost. Doesn't help that I got a big weakness there. He got hidden power, so... I don't know what to really use against that. Other than they just got stupid lucky and sweep with, like, uh, status conditions. Go on, finish me. No, oh, he's taunting now. He's taunting. Okay, it's de he definitely has hidden power grass. That barely did a thing. Look at that. Come on. That's not gonna work. HP grass, in case water types, yeah. Or, I don't know, maybe for lantern? Team down. Oh, golly. Hit it, woman. Wow, extreme speed worked on that. We should have went for that earlier. And here comes the Porygon. Shouldn't over underestimate extreme speed. And Ice Beam. I wonder if two extreme speeds would kill Raichu. Damn, swept. All I lost was a little amount of money. Money that I don't really need, but I guess I should just spend it before every gym fight. Let's go again. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in the war! Go for it. Send out Raichu. If I could just get a crit with extreme speed, that would make things so much easier. So, Dragonite absolutely cannot come in against Porygon 2. There's just no way around it. Maybe we should put a bear on screen for good luck. Teddy bears are good luck. You're right. Hang on. Hang on. What bears do I have today? Oh, cool. It T-waved me. It T-waved me. That's not good. Hang on. Let me find a good teddy. And... There we go. Oh, hang on. This one's a little bit... A little bit too large. Let me just lower it. Let's put him on the side. He looks nice and comfy. He's just taking a nap. He's hard to take a nap with all the screaming going on, though. There you go. Back to the battle. Woman used extreme speed. And deleted. Woman I read that. He dreams of victory. Yes, he does. Electabuzz. buzz. Teddy's just taking a sleep. Pokemon sleep, Teddy, you know? Can you find Teddy in that? I don't know. I don't really care about, like, the weird, uh, 
app games they make. So don't rock, man. Bears for good luck. Dreams of destroying Surge. Oh, did I click out? I think I did. Let's go for the explosion. He's going for the ice punch. If they get, like, one positive instance of RNG, I feel like it's just all over. If he gets the random freeze or a random crit, I just can't really do anything. Let's go. Are we guarding the Teddy from the battle? I don't know. The bear is just kind of there hanging out. Hey, Rockman's down. Now, what... Do we have to come out next? Normally he sends out Jolteon, I feel. Is that it? Just go send in Woman and see what happens. Oh, cool. Oh, we know what's happening now. Ice Punch, just send in Sonic. Go for it, bro. Go for it, bro. That's one ice beam. Everybody count the ice beams with me. So we may have to do that. Count with me. Count with bears. That's one sleepy teddy. Count and let the bear fall asleep. That's a T-bolt. Don't really have a safe switch in for T-bolt here, do I? Well, there's Sakura. We saw how that went before. Dana's alive, so I probably could just send her in to take a hit and kill it. We'll go with that. Last time, I lost Dana to Slowbro, because Slowbro's psychic just hits like a truck. Don't paralyze me. I thought maybe Porygon 2 would have Psychic, but it would hit hurt a lot less than the Slow Bros anyway, so it should be fine. It seems to have Recover, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. I'm not sure what the uh, fourth move is. Oh, Thunder Wave. Okay. No problem. Go ahead. Use the Full Restore. Use the Full Restore. Use that Full Restore. Go for it. Break him with submission. I asked what the last move is, and it told me. That's right. I don't think we're gonna need to count those ice beams anymore. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Critical hit. Deserved. Finally. Maybe I'll actually win this one and not have to stall with items. <laughs> I don't need the Psychic TM, Alakazam already has it. Let me see now... Might be best to just lead with, um... I mean, Sakura can't really do anything in this fight, except, uh... The Slowbro, I need her for that. So if I go with Moomin... You can do that. I'm gonna Thunder Wave it, because he's already used the full restore. I need to, I need to stop this thing in its tracks. It's Gen 2, so Thunder Wave should work on it. Right? Hang on. I'm not misremembering anything, right? This isn't one of those weird things where it worked that way in Gen 2 and then 3. Okay, it should work. Okay, making sure. Best he can do is T-Bolt. Imagine if he had Hidden Power Ice. Let's change in Gen 6. Yeah, that was it. Gotcha, bro. Fortunately, he did quite a bit of damage with that. Go, 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 go. Everybody gets healed up a little bit now. That's a really powerful Thunderbolt, yeah. That's what happens when you're, like, have 20%, like, buff to all your stats when you're t just 20 levels higher. Okay, I might be able to take another one. Can't lock myself into Outrage. Just use an extreme speed. 
I need to buy at least one paralysis turn off of him. How much does this do? <sighs> Thank God, that's so much. Jeez, man. Almost. Just barely. I paralyzed him, and he's never gonna freaking take a paralysis turn. Oh boy! Just keep going! Happy hopes and fun times. That's cool, bro. That's cool. No paralysis turns. That's so cool. Yeah. See, now I'm below half! I'm gonna do it again! Happy fun time! I'm having a fun time with the super hard Pokemon game. Oh my god. All this when he's just healing with leftovers, too. Do I have to just, like, make him run out of Thunderbolts? I think I do. Because I can't really safely switch anything. I still need Sakura for, um, that. And Drill Peck slaughters the other ones. Okay, thank goodness, finally. Finally. We gotta turn there. It's frickin' Dragonite. It's getting taken down to less than half. Oh no! Not that! Anything but that, please. No. Oh, there's the max potion at half health. Gosh, that leftovers Pokemon might die. Better just spray it with a max potion. There's that. <laughs> you see what I mean with this crap? I better just use the Paralyze Heal. This is why we gotta do this. Maybe I'm- turns out I'm gonna need to PP up for extreme speed. Oh, that was more than half. We should have been counting the Thunderbolts. That's like, what? I wanna say four or five of them? I genuinely might need to just keep buying Hyper Potions to PP stall some moves now. Oh, God. We know that its moves are Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Drill Peck, and, uh, Hidden Power, Grass or Water. Obviously, it'll be not very effective against Dragonite, but... I think he had, like, one turn where he was paralyzed. One turn. I'm gonna do a little stretch while I sit here and wait for an hour. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. At this point, I don't even know if the AI would read the switch and just use Hidden Power on Rockman. Any day now. Come on, Zapdos. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm good at the video game. I bought the Premium Battle Pass, where I level up faster. In every tier, I get extra potions. That's not an unfair experience. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That ain't weird. <laughs> this is what- this is the hype. This is the hype you're all here to see. 168. I don't think they used any PP ups or PP maxes on their uh, Pokemon. I'm not even sure if those can apply to AI Pokemon teams. Oh, did he get a random crit? 
Cool! Well... <laughs> now I guess he better roll Paralysis and I can hit him with Ice Punch. Time to reset again. Okay. I, I went to Fire Punch. Ah, whatever, I don't even care anymore. I accidentally mismenued. He's going Hidden Power again for some reason. I don't think he's out of Thunderbolts. He just does that against Alakazam for some reason. At this point, I feel like I just need to go catch random wild Pokemon and build a different team. This isn't gonna work against him at this point. I can't keep using these same six anymore. Even with Potion Spam, I can't kill him, because if they get one random crit, party member deleted. Okay, time to get out. TMs are super limited, though. Time to go hunting for other stuff. Let's see what we have access to. Want to use Cut? Alucard, use Cut. Everything is fun. Sonic, you surf. Now, can I go in... No, the cave is blocked off, so I can't get a Doug Trio that's high level. Let's see what's in the grass up here. Anything the team build with? Because we don't have a choice! There's Magneton. Level 100. I only have the one Wobbuffet. Okay. I don't know why the Zapdos doesn't just start with Drill Pack. Hang on, I can put the bear to rest now. There's a Tough. Hang on now. How much Pokeballs do I have? Ultra Balls looking fine. I'm gonna put Ultra Balls at the top. No, 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 no. Wanted to switch, silly. Look at that. Yeah, a Magneton, unironically, would probably be a better party member than Vaporeon or Charizard. There's Lickitung. There's a Womanite. Let me find that Magneton again. <sighs> this is a bit of a pain. I thought because I wouldn't be stuck into a gauntlet, I could probably just use my current team, but that's not going to work anymore. no choice but to bring a water type because of surf. That's right. You can't get into the gym without surf and cut. Wait, then what do I use for cut if I have to deposit Charizard? Crap. Let's get Magneton if I can. Oh boy! There's a little ferret there. Rhydon does learn surf, but where can I find one? I'm gonna have to, like, look around. Quagsire wouldn't be that great, because Hidden Power Grass. This is silly. Darn, I regret not catching that first Magneton I found. Let's, like, get its HP down and catch this thing. It's gonna team wave me now. They're all level 100, so no point. Oh, boy! There's no point in even checking their DVs. Excellent, that's a crit. <laughs> if only I got the crit against Surge. Hang on. Throw Ultra Balls at it. I need Magneton is just because of its typing. I'll have to get a random Pokemon to just stick Cut and Surf on or something, like Krabby. Two. Damn. 
I'm gonna need more money for Ultra Balls, too. Um, if I'm able to go towards Lavender Town, I could check Rock Tunnel for a ride on. I could stick Surf randomly on that. And I can also have an extra rock wall for some stuff. I could probably tank and ele uh, Earthquake Electabuzz, I don't know. Can't really change the moves on Pokemon at this point in the game, which is annoying. Try attack for that random status condition. Get caught. <laughs> Dude! I swear, this is just trying to taunt me now. Get in the ball. Now. Thing is refusing to get in the ball. I don't think status conditions are gonna help. I paralyzed the Zapdos and it had like two paralysis turns max. Oh, you really gonna make it like this, aren't you? Just get in the ball, my dude. <laughs> gonna be half the episode trying to catch this thing as soon as i go for another extreme speed it's just gonna crit it and kill it you know that'll happen it always will but at this point i want almost want it to die oh i paralyzed cool use next pokemon remember when this thing was paralyzed as well i know right punch it. Why do you have hidden power? What? What type is that? It's not very effective against Sakura. Could it be like hidden power like, let's see, fighting, psychic, uh, is it just fighting and psychic? What am I thinking of? I need to test that. That might actually be good. If it's psychic, that is. Dude, they really want the wild Pokemon to be caught now. I can't I can't keep using the same team. Well, I can definitely keep Heracross, Alakazam, and Dragonite for sure. The rest of them might need to get switched out. It already? So, did they just, like, lower the catch rate of Ultra Balls, or did I just, like, get stupid unlucky? Holy crap, finally. How long was that? Too long. When many Magneton gather together, the resulting magnetic storm disrupts weightier waves. What do we name it? We call it... Stubborn. Because that's what it is, trying to catch it. Let's go take a look at it. <sighs> okay. Oops. Hey, there's another one. It can be a little bit annoying, but we kind of have to accept that this is the game's rules now. Oh, I can't run away. I'm paralyzed. Find Gengar in the Tin Tower. That's cool. Okay. Let's do it. My team was good enough to get through the Elite Four, so I thought maybe I'd be good enough to fight every Kanto gym leader, but no. Not even close. Hmm. No, repels don't work. Everything's level 100. Okay, Alucard, you can take a break. 
since there's nothing you can do in there. Check stubborn. Thunder wave, thunderbolt. And okay. Not not bad special attack, that's for sure. Slow as heck though. HP is it barely has more HP than Alakazam. Oh boy. So that typing resistance isn't gonna give me too much, but it hard walls the Alakaz or, sorry not Alakazam, the Zapdos, so I can do that. Like base 60 HP. Oh, that's really barely bad, yeah. Try attacks a physical move, so we don't want that. I need to test if its hidden power is psychic or fighting. Because that makes a huge difference considering it's a special attacker. Hang on, I need to make some room in this PC box, don't I? I'm never gonna use you. I caught this Grimer to poison something once at the start of the game. Do that. Just making room, because I'm gonna have to catch a few things. There's that shiny Jigglypuff I caught, but I don't want it. Yeah, I think I'll just leave him there. There's the Togepi, there's the Gator. I don't think I have to worry about getting close to 30 right now, so we're good. That's the other Heracross that I caught. Well, we've got 62. I may as well go see if the leftovers are in Celadon, but they took away the Focus Band. Okay. I really thought I could just brute force my way through, um... The Kanto Gyms, and I've just been given a, a smack of reality right there. It's not gonna work. Hang on now. I could put the magnet on Stubborn. Since I already put it on... Hang on. I cut the Never Melt Ice on Sakura. Hang on. I don't know if the base stats for Magneton have been changed, so I don't know if any hidden power calculators would be accurate. What? Oh, no. Yeah, you have to take the underground path to reach it. Oh, boy. Okay, no problem. No problem. We're all happy teddies here, going on a big happy adventure. And happy adventure is help happening elsewhere. What is the point of these gates? Imagine you fall down the ledges and the guard's like, no, you can't come through here. Then you just die out there. Can I go to Lavender? Well then. That sucks. I'm gonna have to go through this gauntlet of trainers if I want to get, like, uh... Get that, huh? Hmm. At this point, it's a bit of a hassle to go back to Johto. The only Pokemon I have access to, to are whatever's in the water and stuff here. I don't suppose I could just find Kingler. There's a rat. Hold up, this would be a good chance to find out if Hidden Power is fighting or psychic. Body Slam. That's a good back sprite for Magneton there. Meanwhile, Golem's just completely cut off. Let's go for it. Okay, it looks like I might have Psychic. That's not terrible. Makes use of my special attack. Can't escape. went way up. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Switch to soccer and get out of here. Psychic, but it might have really low power. That's true. Like, the power of hidden power is also- is random in Gen 2, isn't it? Well then. I need to catch a random Pokemon that can surf and cut. Otherwise, I can't get into the gym. Vaporeon can't really do anything in the fight anyway, so I may as well just ditch it for whatever I can catch. Don't think they made hidden power fix damage in this, yeah. Let's try surfing in the town. I ran into Quillfish, maybe I can find Krabby. 
It's a bit frustrating, but we gotta take this slow. I suppose it's better to team build than to just hyper potion my way out of it, because I genuinely thought maybe I could just hyper potion until they ran out of ice beams or thunderbolts, but that's not really gonna... it's not super viable. Hey, lantern's good. 97 though, huh? Just putting it at that little level where I have to train it anyway. I could just put Surf and Cut on for Alligator. I hate that you're right. Got disrespect for Alligator like that. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's go get in there. Back to the Pokemon Center first, I mean. There's nothing Hidden Power Psychic can do in this fight, but Magneton's typing will let it just completely wall. I still probably am going to have to use a few potions anyway. The fact that they still have potions and full restores to use means that, like, well, I can't do much. Um... I need Rockman to maybe switch into Thunderbolts as well. Maybe I could do that. Maybe I should try and bait the Thunderbolts and just repeatedly switch into Rockman and PP Stall. That would be more consistent, and I wouldn't run into a random crit. Really sucks to do that, though, but... Okay, we'll put this here. Where do we go? Hi, Gator. Welcome back. Charizard is... Uh, yeah, I already deposited Charizard for the Magneton. Has surf already, it should anyway. Good golly. Y'all having fun yet, chat? I'm having a lot of fun. Teach cut to. Oh, it's at the bottom. Goodbye, slash. Heck yeah, fun. At best, for alligators, just a free body to send in if I need to, um, heal someone else. Will this be enough to change the tide of battle here? Just having Magneton? Man. Mm, yeah. I could easily switch into a Drill Pack as well. I could- if I play my switches right, I could completely PP stall um, the Zapdos. Honestly, it's not a terrible strategy. The problem is it's kind of obnoxiously slow. But, I mean, if they're gonna keep healing and half them have leftovers, I can't get enough hits in because they're doing too much damage. And if they get a random critical hit, they do all the damage and I'm just dead. Can't use revives in battle. Yeah, but if... Zapdos does any other moves, Magneton resists them. Magneton's typing and just being a body should help enough. Okay, so we'll still go with the original strategy of using e extreme speed with Moomin on Raichu. Um, the problem is with Rockman... You know what I need to test? Let's see here. I need to test if Earthquake can kill Electabuzz. Because if Rockman can live a hit, I can use Rockman to switch in, right? Hang on, let me save again. This is going to take some labbing. Like, we're all used to playing Gen 2, getting to, like, the Kanto Gym Leaders and steamrolling them by pressing A. I can't do that anymore. Because they have, like, level 120 Pokemon. I didn't try using Earthquake on it, though, did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. We'll reset after we see the damage, because we know how this is going to play out. Raichu goes down, and he takes out Electabuzz second. Did I click it by accident before? I thought I did that with, um, Heracross. A random critical hit with extreme speed will also kill. We have to remember Jolteon has Bright Powder. Let's go for it. Okay. Okay, good. Seismic Toss does less than Thunderbolt here gets 120 damage, it because, yeah, based on level. Everyone believe in the bears. Believe in the teddies. Excellent. 
Oh boy. Electabuzz. Send in Rockman. At this point, maybe I should have put the Soft Sand on Golem. If it just barely gets close to killing. Because we can't be sure. We don't know how much of a difference those 20 levels are going to make. Okay, press Earthquake. As long as he doesn't crit or freeze, this is safe. But this happens at the start of the battle, so I can just reset if it doesn't go my way. Come on. All right, just barely. It's Electabuzz, so it's not a freaking tank. I know. Come on. Okay, it does kill. So Rockman can be a safe switch in for moves. We'll see if the AI cheats or not. Slow bro. Okay. Slow bro got Surf Psychic. Doesn't really have electric moves. Sakura should be fine to Thunder Punch it. I think this might be the only thing in the team that Sakura can actually fight. Except Porygon, but Porygon can... It's special, it just kind of kills anyway. My freaking... Yeah, my HP is too low, right? Like that. Does this thing have Ice Beam? I don't think I've sent out Dragonite, so it hasn't tried to do that. Oh, nice. The Thunder Wave miss. It's got leftovers. Come on, come on. Oh? Oh? Oh. I thought it was a crit. And now we're going to potions. Ten Surge used a full restore. If I had rolled Paralysis, it'd just be gone now for him. <laughs> golly. Good golly, do it again. Critical hit. Please, critical hit. Please, critical hit. Oh, it did a little bit. It was a high roll, at least. Here comes the Surf. It's still a stab option, so it's gonna hurt. We'll do more than half. Oh god. Oh my god. I did so much. Hmm. Oh, thank goodness. The god roll right there. Next one is Jolteon. Okay, we know Jolteon's got Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave. Hidden power, water, and grass. Hmm. What can I do now? Just send in movement and go for the extreme speeds. The problem is it's got bright powder, so that could ruin things. Let's go for it. Send in the movement. And it has a sing, which somehow always hits. I'm gonna blast through that. Brett? No. Oh my! That's so annoying! Maybe I'll wake up turn one. No. Yep! Yeah. He didn't go for max potion. But at this point, I'm gonna have to go for a potion now, don't I? Don't need to PP stall this one. Go for it. Sleep is so busted in these old games that, like, if he rolls it, it's like, well, the Pokemon might as well be gone unless I use a potion. Oh, hey, max potions. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? This is why I gotta- I gotta have deep pockets, too. Still sleeping. I think they buffed it to, like, 70%. Oh, sing? Damn. So it has thunder accuracy and it still hits, huh? Cool. 
Okay. Having a good time. I'm pretty sure movement is, like, the only thing that can, like, take out Jolteon. Back we go! <laughs> I don't- I haven't even gotten to the point where I need the Magneton yet. I hope its hidden power is, um, grass and not water. Any day now. Bro. Have, is it, have I just, like, hit the max amount of sleep turns now? Well, may as well do two Hyper Potions instead. I hope you're all comfy. I hope you're all comfy with this quality gameplay. <laughs> you gonna run out of thunderbolts. Oh, did he get a crit? Oh, cool, he got a crit. I lose. I just lose now. That's cool. I can't... I can't take out the Jolteon without Moomin being awake. <laughs> That's so stupid, dude. Or, sorry, Moomin being awake, yeah. I said Jolteon being awake for a second. Fun battle. Let's go again. Fun, 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 fun. That's the name of the game. If he hits the sing, I think I'm just gonna use a freaking awakening, because that was ridiculous. That had to have been like seven turns, right? That's like I think that's like the max you can be asleep for. Go. Come on, roll the crit. Not today. Oh, he went T-Wave this time. That might work out for me. Okay, he used a full restore. He used a full restore, yeah, you know, just, just like you do. Gengar gets the buffed Hypnosis. Okay, that sounds good. That might be something I look into. And he used a Max Potion. There we go. There we go. Any day now. I honestly, maybe I should leave myself paralyzed so I can hit the Jolteon and not worry about Sing. Woman's fully paralyzed. Seismic Tossed, anyway. Let's go. 100 damage, or 120 damage. The Raichu is down. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> there's the crit. So what's next? Leader Surge about to send in Buzz. We know that I can kill it with Earthquake on this now. I got Magneton for the Zapdos, and I can't even get to the Zapdos now. Used Ice Punch. I was gonna go check other places in Kanto for more team... team members. But, uh, they're blocked off. Except for a Trainer Gauntlet to the right of Saffron. I don't have time for that at the moment. It's a bit annoying. But everything in the wild is, like, level 100, because it wants you to team build. Okay, good. We got rid of you. Slow bro, this is what we need Alkazam for. I only killed it last time because of a crit. I feel like if I get paralyzed, I don't really have a choice but to just heal it. Because with this guy, if I just miss a turn, I kind of just die. Give me a punch. And even if I manage to put a status condition on him, he just full restores when he gets to, like, below half. Okay, that was a high roll, but... <sighs> and there we go. Time to heal it. 
freaking choice. He's just gonna use Surf on Magneton and kill it. I don't know why it sent it in there. Oh boy. Slowbro used Surf. Oh, did he get a crit? Oh, yeah. 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 Hmm. At this range, I could send in Data and kill it one hit with Megahorn. If it hits. Because I know I can't one-shot Slowbro with Megahorn. There we go. Give it a little pop with that. There he goes. Or 216. Oh, there we go. There's the Zapdos, finally. Moment of truth is finding out what type hidden power is. If it's water type, he's going to do more damage than I would like, but... Grass would be good. If I could just, like, burn it or something with Tri-Attack, that would be good. T-Wave is never going to, like, actually proc the Paralysis, but... Okay, he wants to paralyze me. That's fine. He's using Thunderbolt. It must be Hidden Power Grass. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. That didn't wall anything. That didn't wall anything at all. Okay. Well, here we go. Time to PP stall it. 126 HP. Two Thunderbolts. Everybody count with me. Is the interactive part of the stream. Okay. Need more HP on that so I can take a hidden power switch in. Then I'm gonna start switching the Rock Man. Because if he's always gonna go Thunderbolt, it looks like he is. Yeah, he is. He really doesn't want to go hidden power. Could you, like, roll low just once, please? That's three. Because I want to be able to take the switch into the hidden power when Rockman comes out. Oh, boy. Roll low. Whatever, that's going to have to be good enough. That was four, right? Okay, now go to Rock Man. Okay, now he missed. Now we need to exhaust his hidden power. Send in you. That Magneton didn't do a thing. At least it took an extra hit. Now he's gonna go Thunderbolt again. He could go Drill Pack on that, honestly, though. Hmm. Will he go Drill Peck or Thunderbolt? Well, I could probably take a Drill Peck with Rockman anyway, so let's find out. Okay, this is working. Keep counting the Thunderbolts, chat. That's another one. I might need to exhaust all the hidden powers as well. Probably grass if it's doing that little. Seven. Seven Thunderbolts. Back to the Moomin. We're working. In power. I'm get this whole episode is just gonna be me fighting Surge and trying to figure out what the hell to do here. It should have 15, yeah. That was 8 now, wasn't it? Yeah, to get to Celadon, I'm gonna have to go through Cycling Road. 
it was a good idea to catch the magneton, but the thing about it is, um, you know what that magneton really bought me? It bought me one extra turn. That's all it did. Okay. Eight. Here comes the ninth one. Doesn't affect rock, man. I don't know what the YouTube comments will be more mad about. Me using potions or me PP stalling. Because when I play Pokemon, if every battle is in an absolute sweep, it must be a skill issue. Hang on. Here comes the tenth one. Why not both? Here we go. Okay, that's another one. That was, was that 10? That was 10, right? Or was that 11? Whatever. Boop, 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 boop. YouTube will just say that they beat it when they were five. I've unironically seen that before. Hang on. I think I should use a potion here. Just because you're getting low. I can take one Thunderbolt. Counter BS with BS, heck yeah. I still remember that one guy recently who was really mad that I didn't use Thunderbolt or Thunder in Stadium against a Quagsire. It's like, dude, you could have just killed it. That, that Quagsire's water type, you could have just killed it with Thunder. Do you even know how to play this game? Excellent. Okay, that's another one right there. Now we switch into Rockman. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that's another one right there. Twelve. I think. I lost count. Chat's counting, so it's good enough. I need to scare it out of using uh, Hidden Power as well. Then maybe Rockman can finish it. Okay, he's going for the Thunderbolt. He's going for the Thunderbolt. Heck yeah. There's 13. You can't really PP stall in Stadium like this, I don't think. I feel like the AI has like a mix-up option in order to specifically deal with PP stall strats. In fact, a few people were telling me that the AI has specific programming to uh, mix up physical and special moves, when, specifically when Wobbuffet is out just because Wobbuffet's that much of a piece of crap. Okay. Now we send out Rockman. Here comes number 14. There's one more left. We can do this. I should be able to just heal up the team now, since this Zapdos is pretty much dead. comes the last one. Okay, we should be safe now. It's going for hidden power, so we'll just send in you again and heal up. That's all of its thunderbolts. I hope. Ah, what a pain. We do this. Excellent. Hyper Potion. Yeah, just heal up here. Heal. Be healed. 272. Okay, he's going Drill Pack because he's got none left. That can still hurt a bit. Oh, jeez, yeah. Okay, I need to I need to heal up um, Rockman and send it in. Because Rockman is just going to wall the Zapdos. And then everyone else will get healed up so they can take the rest of the fight. <laughs> I can't believe I had to PP stall Zapdos's Thunderbolt. That's so silly. I did have to come up with a strategy still for this, yeah. Oh, wait, no. I can't hard switch to Rockman anymore because he's going to... He still has hidden powers, right? It's fine. We're just gonna have to do this. Again, for the trainers up ahead, I'm gonna have to put the amulet coin on, like, Dana or something, my lead Pokemon, and get as much money as I can, because I'm gonna need potions for this crap. 
Magneton can do this now. <laughs> yeah, good, couldn't it? Hang on, maybe I should go for the burn. Let's heal up Magneton and go for the burn. That'll be great. I do think team switching is a good idea, though. Like, that was a hard lesson I definitely needed to learn, but I wouldn't say I was completely on the wrong track earlier, but it was a foolish decision to bring in Charizard and Vaporeon, because they literally cannot do anything in this fight. Everything is too high level. Did he get a crit? <sighs> he got a crit. Okay, we have a problem now. We have a problem. Oh boy, we have a problem. I gotta roll burn. The game's cheating. Heck yeah, it is. Okay, it's definitely grass. That absolutely confirms it if there was any doubts left. Magneton just ha so happens to be the perfect typing to counter this thing when I run out, make it run out of thunderbolts. So we're just gonna do this. You can use status conditions in Kaizo. Ooh, that was a crit. Oh, I got the burn. Okay, we can do this. We got the burn. Hang on. But you have to exhaust all their max potions and full restores first. Dude, remember in Blue Kaizo, to, for some fights were so impossible, I had to use the, um, the dig glitch with, like, Rhydon. Because otherwise I just could not die. I couldn't win the fight without perfect RNG. Okay. So, like, yeah, just the perfect typing on this thing to resist hidden power grass and drill peck, so should be okay. I think he- no, he's not out of hidden powers yet. He's about to be. Ah. I have to have a little bit more patience, both for PP stalling and being willing to build it uh, change up the team a little bit. Like... They have their Pokemon Stadium 2 teams to an extent, so they still have a bit of, like, type coverage. I got the crit. Now that's deserved right there. Finally, the Zapdos is down. What do we got? Porygon 2. Do I have Dana left? I do! I didn't even remember at this point. How long was I fighting this thing? <laughs> Stubborn as a legend. I don't even know if this Magneton is good or not. I just had to catch it because literally anything was better than Charizard and Vaporeon. I can use Charizard for sure in Erica's gym, I would say. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Dana, Alakazam, and Dragonite. All of them are very good mons that I could probably bring to any team, I would say. Stretch and hydrate, posture check. Yep, everybody redeemed all the stuff. He's just gonna potion this turn. So I'm just gonna use Paralyze Heal. I ain't playing around with this anymore. I've lost too many attempts to one crit. Oh no, he's recovering. That's right, he must be out of potions from the earlier stuff. I'm used to him trying to send out Porygon 2 first. Excellent. Well, I know that, know that Meganium can have Ancient Power, so it wouldn't surprise me if Erica's running that. Let's go for it. This is Kaizo Saturday, all right. We got lots of viewers, and it's just me staring at, like, the same trainer for over an hour. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oof. You're all good, Moomins. Don't worry. As much as every YouTuber and streamer complains about negativity, we we notice the good moments. It comes with every job, no matter what. This is still nothing compared to when I worked retail for like a, a decade. Excellent. A guy getting cranky over a video game is, is nothing compared to an angry old person that wants to save $2 because they have a coupon. Hey, let's go. Excellent. Let's go! Let's break it all. Quality streaming, heck yeah. This is why I like doing Let's Go on the weekend with Kaizo. Because it's super relaxing to just catch things slowly. And, um... 
and just kind of like uh, unwind and sweep with the Eevee. Come on, break it already. There you go. Now speed you, hit it. It's quite a stark difference from doing this, especially since once you get Surf in that game, there's so many more Pokemon to catch. Last one, Jolteon. I don't have Moomin anymore. You still have Hidden Power. Um, wait, I don't think Jolteon can do anything to Stubborn unless it's Hidden Power Water. I don't think it's running Double Kick. It has Bite, but it's Early Bite, so Steel resists. If I can try attack it, should be able to do this. Here comes Raikou. <laughs> Honestly, Jolteon is much more scarier than Raikou. Stadium has taught me just how good that Jolteon can actually be. Uh, let me see here. Especially in Stadium 1, where critical hit rate is tied to the speed stat. Let me do this to you. Do this. Heal up. I don't think going... I can't go for Explosion, because he has Hidden Power to cover for Rock Round types. Oh, wow. This is his best option? That's good. Oh, is that going to kill? Not quite. Okay. If he's going to T-Bolt... Hidden power is grass, and that's hang on. First, let me heal up Stubborn, because we need it as a switch in. I'm gonna alright, we have to count the Thunderbolts again. That's one. Everybody get everybody get your number cards. We have to make it run out of Thunderbolt, because its stab is too powerful. That's two. Two. HP on Magneton is atrocious, so best we can do. Okay, here comes the third. Okay, three Thunderbolts. Let's hope it's Hidden Power Grass, that way I can... Let's find out by switching the Dana, because it's gonna Hidden Power for sure. It's not safe to just send out Dana and go for an Earthquake. Like, at all. As much as you think it is, Jolteon will outspeed me and could just easily kill me with Thunderbolt. It's that powerful. It's definitely Grass. Okay, both Zapdos and Jolteon got HP Grass. Now, here comes the fourth Thunderbolt. He's probably gonna go for that. If they had, like, PP ups on their stuff, this would be... Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing at all, dude. Well, now he's gonna go Hidden Power again. Okay, so we won't prioritize using that on Dana. Unless I already let this thing go asleep. How many attempts have I done on Surge? Too many. <laughs> Too many. I might see about getting that Gengar, yeah. Excellent. Now, apparently, Sing has 70 accuracy, and so does Hypnosis. I might have to make him run out of Sing's as well. Oh, hey! Being asleep means the cry won't play. Okay, that's another Thunderbolt. Keep counting. We finally had another one. That's four. As I just said, they buffed Sing's accuracy to 70 in this game. I, I know what it is in... I know what it is on the main games. Quoting Bulbapedia here has no power, my dude. Send it out. Thunderbolt, there's another one. Okay. Who resists, who resists the hidden power more? Let's find out. That's the fifth one. That still does too much. Oh my... <sighs> Crit. Well then, that's great. Okay, fantastic. All I have left is Dana. Get ready to count the next one. Stubborn did good. After all this, this is just how it is now. Okay, there's another one. 
I need to heal up Dana, because a random crit could kill her as well. I need to make it run out of hidden powers as well. I haven't a high enough special, so this should be okay. Even if he does get a crit, I don't think it could kill Dana. Even after all this item spamming, this is still just how it is. Come on, what does it take me down to? There's another Thunderbolt, keep counting. I think we're at half? Dude, it's still a lot. See what I mean? It's not safe to just go for the random earthquake by sacrificing for alligator. I need to be absolutely sure and get rid of all of its all of its thunderbolts. There's eight. That this way, even if he does get like a random crit to kill Heracross, I can send in Golem safely and clean up as well. Because hidden powers will pretty much nearly be gone too. Thunderbolt. This is the ninth one. This is the quality gameplay you're all here for. Okay, got nine. I have to use another potion and hope he rolls low with Thunderbolt here. Hidden Power also has 15 PP, because I can't let Dana die to the Hidden Powers, right? Go back to Indigo Plateau and buy these. Dude, this fight is a freaking... I don't even feel like I'm playing Pokemon anymore. That's what this feels like. Here comes the tenth one, right? Five more. Roll low, please. Roll low. You roll high. Ten. in the Jolteon. 20 levels higher makes a difference, even with the soft sand, yeah. Okay, send in Dana. I don't remember what his, right, his other moves are Bite and uh, Thunder Wave. Turns out when you take a Pokemon with a massive special attack, and, uh, you give it 20 extra levels, it kind of becomes a little stacked, doesn't it? Thunderbolt number 12. Excellent. Next one. You actually can't really get moves like Sword Stance, no. I'm pretty sure that, like, a lot of Pokemon have it removed. Okay, I have to heal this time. There's almost no buffing moves for the player. That's right. As well, um, moves like Sand Attack and Smoke Screen are reduced to 5 PP. This game does not want, like, actually removes half the viable strategies in the main game as well. He gets a crit. It could be all over. Here's 13. I'm not even kidding, if that Thunderbolt crits, I literally would not be able to stall it out anymore, I'd lose. That's how, like, ridiculous this is, despite everything I've done. Okay. He's got two Thunderbolts left. In Blue Kaizo, the enemy has infinite PP, so you literally can't do anything. Okay, 14. He's got one left. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Here comes the last one. And all he has left is hidden power. Okay, we're safe. Fifteen. I don't know how many hidden powers he has, but since he uses one every switch, like, he probably only has, like, two or three left, I want to say. He's probably going to go for T-Wave now or Sing. 
Or sorry, no, he had, yeah, he had Sing and Bite, not Thunder Wave and Bite. My mistake. Yep. He doesn't have anything left. Everything's crit range, I know. Once I'm sure he's out of hidden powers as well, Golem can also kill. We're completely safe now, I think. I just have to wake up. I should just wake up naturally, because he's just going to spam Sing, and he's stupid fast, right? This is how absurd this battle is. I needed everything to go perfectly. The Magneton definitely made it possible. Um, I think what would be a good idea for Erica is to maybe get a Pokemon like Weezing. Because Weezing could probably resist a lot of, um... Because most grass types don't really learn things. Actually, hang on. If it bases off the Stadium 2 team, she's probably gonna have... The ch she's probably gonna have Chansey, or probably Blissey, and Vaporeon. Go for it again. Bone Bite. It's out. <laughs> and I'm... Is it like a rule when I fall asleep in Kaizo, I have to get the full seven turns, or what? She's actually programmed in Stadium 2 to always have the Vaporeon on her team with Blossom. So she only really picks one random Pokemon. Okay, you still have some more. Does this look fun to you, Chad? Oh boy. Delteon just casually one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. C can I wake up? Can I wake up yet? Can I wake up? There's no point awakening it. Jolteon's too fast. I'll we'll just go for Sing again and likely hit it. Dude. How many turns? How many turns? Oh, finally. This is fun to watch, but I will never play it. That's right. Imagine waking up and the bite makes you flinch. Don't say that. I'll say that. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness that's over. Oh, you're strong. Okay, kid, you get the Thunder Badge. Freedom. And this technically will buff Thunder moves on my team. Yay. He says that it buffs speed, but did it actually do that? Hey, kid, still slugging and chugging away? My Pokemon are still at it. One out of eight. That was quite the battle, wasn't it? What am I doing? I can just fly out of here. How about that? An extra gift in the sub, yo-yo. Remember Moominite? Remember when it was alive in this battle a while ago? No TM? No, this is Kanto. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Heal us up. Heck yeah. Could Surge be the worst of it? Because let's face it, fast Pokemon that can paralyze and spam Thunderbolt, they probably have some of the biggest benefits from being 20 levels higher. So now we're going to put Dana up front. I can put the Soft Sand on Rockman. Since I'm going to put the Amulet Coin on you. I should get out Vaporeon again. Hang on. Janine probably is going to have a Koga Shuckle and that's going to make me cry. Oh boy. Even even Surge doesn't want to use um I wonder if I should use the King's Rock sometimes to get a random flinch with Alkazam. There it is. I had to PP pee -pee stall with both Magneton and Golem a lot. The only way I was able to win that was literally by exhausting all of, like, the Thunderbolts on his two strongest Mons. Sabrina will probably hit really harder than Surge. That's true. You know, I'm gonna need a Dark-type. I don't think the game will let me have access to Tyranitar, so... Like... Uh, if I use Umbreon, odds are Pokémon like Alakazam and Espeon, maybe they'll have, like... Set damage move, seismic toss on Alkazam. That's not a problem for today, though. 
Hound Doom wouldn't be a bad option, too. See, this is the thing. I'm gonna have to worry more about team building now. Okay, put this on Rockman. Get this here. I, oh, wait, what am I saying? That's right. Larvitar was in Dark Cave. Stubborn can go now. We might need it later. You can get Pupitar at level 99 above Cerulean. Okay, we'll do that. Let's get Sonic and Alucard back for now. And... yeah. Party's full. Hold up, did I not put away for Alligator? Nope. Stubborn just has the magnet. Get it later from if I need it. Oh boy. That was exciting, wasn't it? Super exciting. That, like, winning attempt, was I doing the battle for, like, almost an hour? Oh man. Maybe we should go see if we can beat the bikers now. I got the amulet coin on Dana so we can get money. Maybe check the shop here to buy some stuff with Surge's money first. Yeah, maybe that. Oh, there's max potions. Sick. Give me six of those, because clearly I'm gonna need that. Revives aren't that good since you can't use them in battle. I only really needed them for the Elite Four Gauntlet. I think that's going to be a thing to consider, getting Pokemon specifically to PP stall on Switch-ins. Because, like... Oh. The top one was safe. I didn't even realize that. There's a lot of good Mons in Kanto. Yeah. I'm going to need to be build a very specific team to take out Red, that's for sure. For now, the main six I have should be good enough coverage for everything. It doesn't seem like the regular trainers outside of gyms have Pokemon above 100. We're definitely not going to attempt another gym, another gym today. I'm just kind of probably going to do a couple more trainer battles and switch games. Oh. I'm glad you all find this entertaining, because, like, when I... If I put this on paper, it's like, okay, here's me switching back and forth and, and spamming potions to beat Surge. That sounds lame as heck. There's a bit of strategy to it that's fun, though. Walling him with that. And if Kaizo's not gonna cut off the access to potions for me or the opponent, I guess I just have to accept them being in the... in the move... in the pool of stuff. Excellent. Flareon. Does Flareon have anything it can do to Rockman? Let's find out. Okay. The moves Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar learn are the most abysmal I've ever seen. Are they? Someone earlier said uh, that Hypnosis on Gengar can be good because it's buffed to 70. Okay. Me rambling about how unfair it is. <laughs> yeah. I think I need to put Psychic on that, but... The level up moves for Ghastly are Self-Destruct at level 1, Confuse Ray level 1, Nightshade level 1, and Explosion at level 100. Wait. Oh, no. Hypnosis is at level 100. Everything else is at level 1. Well, hopefully it should be better with you evolve that. Here comes a Grand Bully. Uh, Dana, what am I doing? She's at the top. The level up moves are edited in a very annoying way. For example, in order to have Outrage on Dragonite, I had to raise Dratini to level 40. Because Dragonair and Dragonite aren't programmed to learn Outrage until past level 100. Which means that only Lance can use it. <laughs> Yes, they really did program it like that. I'm not kidding. It's a good thing Yo-Yo told me that on the Discord while I was training the Dratini, because I almost let it evolve without realizing that, and I would have been locked out of getting Outrage. 
pincer. Okay, Alucard should be able to do this. I hope. Rehydrate, yeah. Oh. Well, even if this upload is boring as hell to watch, I got another stadium upload. Even more sta standing around watching one battle. Heck yeah, the content y'all want. Hi, Vampy, welcome. You missed me. Y you missed the most absurd battle ever. Surge and his, like, champion level Zapdos and Jolteon. I literally had to switch out over and over to make them run out of Thunderbolt. <laughs> that was just silly. Sorry! Oh, nice. Okay. I gotta start saving money. So let's just go heal naturally. It's okay. More absurd than Shuckle? Honestly, that's not, that's not even that far off, to be honest. Let's go. Fun. What level does Gengar learn hypnosis? I'm curious. Is it like Alakazam where you have to keep it as a haunter for a while? Let's see here. Gengar gets Fire Punch level 1, Ice Punch level 1, Thunderbolt 1. Hypnosis at 50. Explosion. No, oh, Explosion at level 50. My Sorry. And it gets submission at level 101. Yeah, apparently the reason Gengar had a submission there is specifically so Karens can use it against Tyranitar. Anything that's above level 100 on the move list is for the AI only. Okay. Cop shit down our underground path. That really fries me. So it gets hypnosis at base level, I guess. So if you catch it in the wild, it'll have everything except Fire Punch. I mean, that's not bad for coverage. Maybe I should look into getting a Gengar. Let's use Earthquake. Let's take out a few trainers here and that'll be good. Yeah, earlier it was said that you can find Wild Gengar in the Tin Tower. It's easy to train to level 100 now, though. The Magikarps near the end of the game actually give, like, a buffed experience. Uh, hold up, what can you do to me? Oh, you're gonna Max Potion, that's what you're gonna do. Lovely Kiss is apparently also buffed to 90 accuracy as well. Okay, if you're just gonna Potion, you know what? I'm going for it. I've used enough, enough win options today. I don't feel bad about this. I think the most items I used in the Elite Four was, by far, on Koga. Koga and his, like, back-to-back -back Blissey, Shuckle, and Crobat that spam Double Team and all that. That was wild. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Let's go for it. Ooh. This is where the Soft Sand would actually kill this thing faster. Hang on, if you're gonna potion, I'll just do this, and then hit you with another Earthquake, and then I'll take you down. Evasion strats are so scummy. They are, but when you, the player, try to use them, you know what happens? You use, you go to plus five double teams, and then you just get hit by Fissure. That's what it feels like. Yeah, there we go. This is coming from someone who plays Purity Forest, where Togepi regularly gets Oko moves with Metronome, and still hits them, even though its ability is Hustle. <laughs> Eris, forgive me. Nice. Hey, it's Joey! There we go, looking sharper. There's a Pokemon this guy in your party. It's all Wild Pikachu. Maybe we should at least beat the third biker. How much do I have? Only Heracross took damage. I could just Hyper Potion it. That's what I'm doing. Here we go. We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation. Right on. I'm not so sure. Suicune is just kind of a different Vaporeon. Biker and Zeke would like to battle. Ooh, I can Earthquake this. 
Yeah, fix my posture. I am glad I get to relax with some Castlevania after this. Let's take this guy out. Maybe I will end up using the Suicune at this rate. Just reset off stream with the mat using the Master Ball on it. it. Does come with Bite and Ice Beam. At this point, yeah, Vaporeon is getting Surf and like nothing else. Kind of getting absurd. Dodrio. Uh, Rockman can Rock Slide it. Best it gets to cover me is Steel Wing. Even the Elite Four didn't have hidden power to cover things, did they? Come on. Come on, this won't do much. Suicune gets two moves at level 101, but yeah, yeah, that means someone else gets to use it. Wouldn't shock me if Red just gets them. Surge was the first hidden power, it feels like. Both Jolteon and Zapdos, if you missed it, had hidden power grass, so... They hard countered um, Golem. There's no way I could do anything about him. So let, let me just take a peek here. How many trainers are there? Nothing? There's a building there? Why is this here? No grass? Okay. Hang on. And this is blocked, right? Blocked. You can't use this underground path. It doesn't even exist in the regular Gen 2 game. Let me spend some money on the max potions. Oops, wrong place to go. <laughs> I still think about how funny it'd be to go back and do like a... Do a Pokedex run of this on my own time. I was checking out the retro achievement stuff. Didn't seem like they have anything up to Wii yet. But they do have PS2, don't they? Buy 14 of these bad boys, because we're gonna need them. Actually, hang on. Buy one Hyper Potion. Take that. Okay. Exciting. I can't wait to upload this. I, like, the last hour and a half of this video were just me fighting Surge in the most absurd way. I did, like, it wasn't a terrible idea to PP stall with Hyper Potions. Very lame and scummy, but it wasn't a terrible idea. The problem with that is that his Pokemon, even when it's not very effective, they do so much damage that if they roll a crit once, the Pokemon is just dead. Even with that last attempt, when I was stalling him with Magneton and Golem after keeping them alive, I still could have easily just lost if he rolled two extra crits or something. Okay. So we're off to a great start in Kanto, an entire episode on Surge. Heck yeah, that's the Kaizo content you're here for. Or not. Anyways, I'm gonna take a quick break, and then next we're gonna play some Castlevania. I wanted to finish up that Maria mod I started at the last weekend. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you're still enjoying this. I appreciate all the support for uh, all the Pokemon stuff lately. Again, I <laughs> part of me still wonders about the appeal of this, but y'all st still seem to love it, so why the heck not? Hope you enjoy. Look forward to more. For Twitch, we're gonna switch games. Have a good night. Bye-bye.